Greetings, this is Eduardo Jumbo. In this tutorial, strings will be manipulated using Python. This is from chapter 2 of the jumboshop.com learning Python course. Strings can be surrounded by a single or double quote. String quotes are literal, double quotes allow escape characters. Python can be compiled from source at GitHub. Python can be installed from downloaded binaries. I installed version 3.12.4 from the Fedora 40 repos. Let's begin. Okay. So this is inspired by shop.com slash learning Python course. I'm using double quotes here. And this is the escape it's a, for a backslash T for one tab. The string will be lowercase except for colorized first part. So this is if you're using a different language which has accents as an example, it will convert them to lower case. Now of course if you're using English, you can just simply put lower and it will convert it to lower case. So, I think that's straightforward for centering. This counts how many spaces This one is kind of redundant uh, because I'm using, using Linux, Linux. So, so if, if you're using Mac, it's, it's also by default UTF-8. Obviously, if you're Windows, Windows that uses UTF. 
So in this case, if the string ends with a period, then it will return true. So it's done times. So we replace, we replace the tab characters. by spaces. In this case, by default it's uh, 8, but I changed it to 2 here. Now what I do is I go here, compile current file, I go to build compile. That's fine. Again, it's also fine. Then what I do, I can go to build, execute, or I can simply click this to run or view current file and you can see the output here for the first one we capitalized so you see the first character is capitalized you see the here up here was not in the second one we change everything to lowercase you see this word python it was capitalized but it's now it's all lowercase uh, that's a case hold and also lower it also converts it to lowercase now because I just use plain English. There are no accents, so it, it, for this particular case, uh, no pun intended, it does the same thing. For center, what it does is it takes the first uh, 50 characters and it will then center them and any padding, it will use the hyphen here. And then below that, we did a count, count how many spaces we have. So according to this, it counted 12. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so that's true. Below that, we encoded it to UTF-8 and it's strict. That means nothing because uh, it's also in a bytes. Uh, see, that's why I put a B here for byte. Uh, the thing is, uh, it was already UTF-8. And then here, it, does it end with a period? The answer is true. Finally, expand tabs. That means it took uh, my tab here and replaced it with two spaces. So because the reason it looks like it's so much here is because I already have a space here and a space here. So then there's two, two spaces in here. Okay, and that's the end. You can find the full article at java.com slash python hyphen and for hyphen and manipulating hyphen and strings. As you can see, I have a table here for the string, beauty and string methods of Python that we use today. And you can always expand the source to get if you just want to copy paste. And some screenshots here, I'm using Nagini, like a bit of IDE. Here is a YouTube video which you're watching right now, or for whatever platform, whether it's Rumble, Odyssey, Twitter, X, LinkedIn, Facebook. And of course, uh, remember Python is open source. It's licensed under the Python Software Foundation license. This allows commercial use, modification, distribution, and allows private derivatives. The PCF uh, license is compatible with open source uh, licenses. And of course, is the Learning Python course, which is optimized for new web browsers and any device. So you can find that one at wajamshaw.com slash learning hyphen python. Uh, right now, until the end of 2024, you can use the promo code school, S-C-H-O-O-L, get 20% off. So what happens is that when you purchase this course, uh, when you log in, uh, you can go to the page content here or up here, you can click on the page content. All of them from the menu here, you click on the content, then you need to pick the course. This is going to pick a Python, 
And you remember as well, we left off last time, so this is in the strings. And uh, so what we did here today is we did uh, we used the uh, backslash for the tab, which is right here. And we also did a lower here and one of the built-in uh, uh, Python functions. So that's it. Thank you.